Well, the boy was furious. How could he know that? He just went little in that morning and got this little bird. Hmm. What could he do? Now remember, all his friends were watching, and he already said, I'm going to prove this woman to be a fake. So he came up with a new plan. Hmm, you're right, it is a bird, he said. But can you tell me, is it alive or a dead? Hmm. The old woman thought a moment. Hmm. And the boy thought a moment and said, well, if she answers that it's dead, he would pull the bird out and let it go free. But if she answers that it's alive, he would crush the bird. Really sad, right? Well, the woman spoke calmly, and she knew what he was up to. The answer, my friend, is in your hands. It's in your hands. The boy realized that the wise woman had once again spoken the truth. The answer indeed was in his hand. Feeling that little bird trying to escape, he felt horrible. The answer was in his hand. Slowly, gently, he brought the bird from behind his back and let it go free. And said, I'm sorry. So why did I tell you that story today? Well, this story is partially true, but we forgot one big point. There's a lot of things in the world that we can't control, but there are a lot of things that we can. And yes, the answer is in our hands, but it's also in our hearts. So remember, when you have a chance to make a decision, come from a place of love and use your hands to serve. Now, before we go to the religious enrichment wing, we are making ice cream today, so feel free to come join us after the worship service. <laughs> but we're going to sing a song first, and then we'll all leave together. So sit tight and enjoy. <clears throat> Thank you. 
you know this, and I invite everyone to sing along.